Hey, hello everyone, welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Union tool in QGIS. So, before getting into it, let us have a look at the tool, how the Union tool works. So, you can see here uh, that is uh, a rectangle uh, feature is available and a circular feature has been overlaid on the top. So, here the Union tools combine these two layers and it preserves uh, the features both layers to the same extent so there isn't uh, any cut or a reshape as you can see here these two features have been combined together their attributes will be shared together that won't be changed you can see here its shape is also not changing you can see so let us see this see this in QJS how the output looks like so so here you can see that we are having uh, two shape files one is a uh, polygon c that is nothing but our circular shape file and another one is merge that is nothing but the neta rectangular shape file so let me open the attribute and show you so for the circle shaped that is polygon c you can see it has having id state number and area these are the information present and uh, in merge that is rectangular file you can see here id zone and class has been given so this is having uh, different uh, attributes so we are going to merge this together using the union tool so let us see how the res result come out so now go to the option vec vector and here you can find the option geoprocessing tool under that you can find the option union so here union after opening this file you can see the input layer here we are going to select polygon sorry we are going to select the rectangular feature first after that we are going to overlay it by the polygon c type now finally you can save the file using this button wherever you want you can save it save to file here you can save it so i have given the name if you want you can change the file formats by clicking below hit the button save now let us run the process so the process has been successfully completed let us see how it looks like so I am going to remove the uh, the rectangular file and circular file now you can see the result how it looks like you can see that the shape of both of the layer is being preserved that you can uh, visualize and it has been combined together that also you can see so the circular is been circular is been overlaid on the top of the rectangular file and the shape is being preserved both of this uh, shape has been preserved successfully let us see how the attribute looks whether it is preserved or not let us check it by selecting the option open attribute table here you can find that the attributes is also been merged together you can see here id zone class id2 so ids were commonly found in both the uh, polygon c and merged uh, so the uh, ids has been uh, two ids has been given id1 and id2 and uh, you can see here the attributes of both this layer has been preserved for example let me select the uh, selection tool and let me show you how it looks like so now you can see when i am clicking here you can see the, that this is uh, in uh, this also called as boomy and it also is having the both the circular file name is uh, attribute is preserved as well as the rectangular uh, attribute is being preserved so likewise you can see so you can see here here you can see only the uh, rectangular attributes has been given the circular uh, attributes has been left over because it is co completely covered by the rectangular feature there is no overlapping of the circular over here so here you can find you, you will not find the area number state you will only find the details about the rectangular attributes so if you have any doubts in this please to ask in the comment section i'll be answering your questions thanks for watching the special goodbye everyone please to subscribe the channel also